Hello and welcome to my reactions video for WWE Money in the Bank of 2017. And what of kind of like, hmm, I, I think it was a good pay-per-view, it was pretty good. It almost felt like kind of like Raw's Extreme Rules where it was just kind of like a stepping stone for more stuff to happen in the future. But at the same time, like it's pretty much, it pretty much was. Because they, they're giving like, liter they're pretty much telling us who's going to be champion next. But just not right now. In the future. You don't know when, but not right now. But I'm, we're guaranteeing that. So that's kind of how Money in the Bank feels in this one. Especially especially this one. But in this video, I'll be giving an overview and my opinions on each and every one of the results of this pay-per-view. And kind of how I feel about them pertaining to my predictions video, which I posted during the pay-per-view itself because... Of course, I kind of procrastinate a little bit, but I also was kind of stretching on time and kind of got like crunched in there at the same time. But enough of that. I'm just going to jump right into it. Starting with the kickoff match, um, definitely expected the Hype Bros to win easily. Was not surprised at all, and I'm kind of glad to see that they're already mentioning that they kind of have a number one contendership spot in a way because they that's how they were when they left. They'll probably have them prove it in one way or another because of the faces, so they're going to be like, hey, prove it for us, please, prove it for us. So they're like, okay, we will, and they will. So we can probably see them against the Usos, maybe not here soon, and I'll get to talking to that a little bit later. But yeah, I'm not surprised by them winning, not really that much. But we're going to move into the actual real pay-per-view, starting with what they started with, with the Money in the Bank ladder match for the women's. Um, I'm glad that I was right about Carmella winning. Like, I think that's who like, I pretty much was most banking on, pretty much, winning this. And I think it makes sense to have Carmella win out of all the characters. Although, I just kind of wish that they would have just had her won. They just would have had her win. Because it seems like now they're going to make this controversial. And now they're going to have, like, put maybe the Money in the Bank suitcase on the line. And an unnecessary storyline at the same time. But, like, you know, I start thinking about it and I'm like, oh, well, uh, it might be interesting. Maybe, maybe Carmella will just hold that over Carmella's head. And Carmella will have to, like, prove that she's actually worth it. And then it'll actually push her over a little bit. But, you know, at the same time, I also thought, well, it gives a purpose for Ellsworth being there. Other than just, you know give him an excuse because they gave him a contract and now his fate's kind of running thin. He's playing a heel because I'm pretty sure now the fans fucking hate him even more. And now there's even more reason to hate him. So he's a good heel manager type thing. That I think they've been booking him well with Carmelo in that sense because he went from being the good guy to a good reason to getting him out of the title picture becoming a heel. And now he's done this. So I almost think it's kind of like a blessing in disguise because it gives more purpose to Ellsworth being there. And it met Carmella one, so I'm glad to see that happen. And I think what the next match was, yes, it was, it was, yes, the tag match. The tag match was next. And I was actually kind of upset with this result because I wanted a result. Because you know, whenever it ends in disqualification, it's just like, oh, wait till the next pay-per-view. Everyone would have been fine with the, the New Day winning here. But now it, I think it's pretty much... Like, just saying that the New Day is going to win next week because the Usos got themselves out. So not next week, but the next pay-per-view. So, I'm kind of upset that they couldn't just have the New Day win here. And they're going to push back the storylines even a bit more. The Hype Bros. Maybe they'll do a, a Fatal 3. Uh, not Fatal 3. Uh, a triple threat match with the three three teams. So, yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit upset, but at the same time, like it's just like they're just trying to prolong the story. But... Enough of that, we're going to move into the women's championship match. Definitely was expecting Lana to lose and Naomi to win. I kind of like the fact that like Booker T kept getting on Naomi's case about not being prepared for the Miss Money in the Bank because it's like it's kind of like putting reality that they always aren't so nice to the faces. And I like that Booker is kind of like being that character. He's trying to dispense wisdom, and he's right. She just can't be like, I'll adapt because he, she kind of had the plan. So it was a cool, interesting story dynamic between them, in that case with Miss Money in the Bank, and of course, um, uh, Carmella coming out, and then Lana getting distracted. Just put a lot of story into the match, although we all knew Lana was going to lose, but it gave more of a purpose and a lot more reason to watch. So that was definitely good, in my opinion. But enough of that, enough of that, we're going to move on. I feel like I've said that a couple of times. Enough of that, we're going to move on. Enough of that, we're going to move on. But we are going to move on into the next 
match, or not really match, but to see, I think this is when Mike and Maria showed up. I, like, I, I don't follow that much of independent wrestling. Like, I, like, read an article here and there. I just kind of see what's up on Twitter every once in a while or something like that. But I read somewhere that they might show up. So, like, I was actually kind of like, oh, man, some new faces. This should be interesting. And just that little entrance, all that, pretty much showed me what they were. And, I mean, I, I don't know much about them myself. So I'm like, oh, cool, new faces. So it was good to see that they arrived at the pay-per-view and kind of filled up a little bit of time because this was kind of like a short pay-per-view, because there weren't that many matches due to the fact that, um, like, they were a lot more shorter and the United States title picture was taken out because of the Money in the Bank match. So it definitely was a good time filler as well, which was, which was great. And, like, it was just good to see that they found a reason to fill time with purpose, and that, I think that was a good way to start it off. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on to, what was the next match? Uh, it was, yes, it was, um, actually the world ma title match, and I was like, man, this pay-per-view short, because I totally forgot that the Money in the Bank match hasn't, hadn't happened yet, and along with, and I totally forgot about Brizongo and Breeze facing whoever their attackers were, because that was just made on the last spot, and, like, I'll get to that when I get to that next match, but I was definitely glad to see Jinder Mahal win this. And he's getting a lot of heat, and I think they did it the right way. They did it to show that he was a heel in the best way possible. Randy Orton's hometown on Father's Day. His father they were, father was there watching. And the whole line of all the St. Louis legends that showed up, that was cool too, to see some of those guys again. Like, it was really cool they did that to fill some more time, and I thought that was really smart, and to pay tribute to them, and also develop the whole Father's Day storyline of Randy Orton's dad being there. And Jinder Mahal beating him. Um, was probably a good choice because it definitely showcased like that St. Louis hated him and they loved Randy. They definitely showed the heat that he's getting and Randy as a face. And it's just good to see when the people are actually cheering on the face and booing the heel. Now, this, like I love Randy and I'll, like Jinder Mahal's character. I would kind of I would hate him as a character, but I was supporting him in this match because. Like, I kind of respect the fact that he's representing his people in India. I kind of like that about his character, but he is being an ass, and I don't like that. So I kind of was supporting Randy. So I was kind of split. So I just went with my prediction of Ginger winning, and he did win, so I'm glad to see that. Um, but, you know, and then talking smack, the way he talked, he just carried himself as a champion, and I think he's doing a great job. And this is nothing but just pushing him even forward of being a legitimate champion, and I would love to see who he faced next. But moving on into the last minute made tag team match, I was kind of glad they did this to fill some time as well. And it definitely was interesting because Brizongo and Brizongo is always entertaining. And I called it from the start that it was the Ascension that was their attackers just because of the shape of the silhouettes. I feel like it was kind of obvious. And at first in the match, I thought Ascension was going to win. So I was a little bit surprised by Brizongo was winning because I thought they were going to use this time to like push the Ascension because the Brizongo just kind of got put over. So maybe now they were going to like maybe put the Ascension tile picture. But then I realized, oh, no way, that's too soon. Brizongo hasn't rode it all the way yet. And they might be tag champions in the future. They might be. So I guess this is just pushing Brizongo just a little bit more. And they use this as a chance to fill up some time. So I was happy with seeing Brizongo won because they're hilarious and they enter they're so entertaining. But I didn't see them winning at first. But then I began to realize, yeah, they should win. But... Yeah, that was actually a good match, a good filler match. And then, of course, the next one leading to the match of the night, the Money in the Bank match. And I, I am really happy with this result and how it was done. Baron Corbin taking out Shinsuke Nakamura, and then I was merely like, yeah, he's going to win. Because with Shinsuke out, he seems the most logical to win. Um, Sami Zayn's cool powerbomb off the ladder. Um, AJ Styles, um, phenomenal forearm, um, the Sami Zayn, like, when he was climbing, that was phenomenal, and just, like, just, ladder matches always get the most pain-wrenching moments out, and then Shinsuke coming back, I started thinking, like, oh, crap, maybe he actually is gonna win with the comeback story, like, oh, my God, he is, so I was really split between Baron Corbin and Shinsuke winning, so I was like, oh, crap, Shinsuke's gonna win, but as soon, like, it's just, it was... Like, that's how I know it was a good ladder match. I really couldn't know if it was Shinsuke or Baron. I was cheering on Baron for the fact that I think it's smarter for him to be Mr. Money in the Bank 
but I like Shinsuke a lot, and I was like, ooh, I could definitely see him winning here. But um, that that moment where AJ and Shinsuke were staring at each other through the ladder, and instead of climbing the ladder, they moved it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, that was a great moment of this match. Because we all know, I cannot wait for the WrestleMania match between them. If it ever happens one day, that match will be fucking amazing. Like, that match will be awesome. Maybe it won't be the original amazing match that they had in Japan, I believe it was. I don't know for certain, but I watched that their match that they had that was almost like a five-star match, and just, it was great. It was great, and just the see that everyone knows that that's what they can do together, and the see that stared down was just... Like, they know, and, like, anyone who f that followed them before that, to see that, oh, my God, like, it was, I, I think it was a great moment. Just, like, it was. But Baron Corbin coming out of top eventually was probably the best decision of the night because Baron Corbin taking advantage, that's his character. Um, he's the youngest out of them, I believe, like, the least experienced out of them so him getting the chance shows that it really is a new era and I think that's what he needed to get into the title picture like I feel like he couldn't reach there without having something that would give him that opportunity and the money in the bank I think was perfect so and to see that his exchange with gender and how he talks so much smack as a heel it's just it's just great now I don't think that he should take the title from gender I think he should take it from someone else so maybe wait a little bit of time before doing that but I think this was the perfect choice to have him be Mr. Money in the Bank because like his character fits what Mr. Money in the Bank would do. Shinsuke can be used for um a title picture like a title like a main event match because he's that good. I think he I think it'd be better they'd rather use him for that. And Baron Corbin just like it just fits him perfectly and it's the best chance to get him into that title picture. So it's probably the best decision of the night, best match of the night. The Money in the Bank match is always great to see who they're going to give the opportunity to. And i got to give credit to where it's due. Every single one of those guys did a great job tonight. But, again, if you agree with anything I said, if you liked anything I said, maybe you hated something I said and want to dislike the video, you can do that too. But if you liked it or agreed with anything, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below and check in the future for some more content. Maybe the next predictions video for the next pay-per-view, Great Balls of Fire, or whatever SmackDown makes. I don't know if that one's going to be first. Probably not, because Great Balls of Fire has already been announced. So, what am I thinking of saying that? Of course, that's the next one. Or maybe it might be. But like I said, be sure to check out some more future content like those videos or some of the other videos I have. But I just got to end it with thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate you taking your time and checking the future for some more videos.